Hey guys, so we are back at it again on the porch. Our new favorite place. Is it our new favorite place? Yeah, we love our porch. Um, so we've just been hanging out on the porch a lot lately. It just, it's really nice. Um, so we have been busy. Let me just get you guys caught up. So Friday, I had an appointment, a very important appointment and something that I have wanted to do for such a long time and we finally did it and I'm really excited. We are going to get my teeth fixed, this one in particular. I do not like that tooth. <laughs> it is really annoying when I open up my mouth that's like the only tooth you can see. Oh, it's just, I really don't like that tooth. So. We're getting it fixed. Um, I'm going through Smile Direct Club. I've heard good things about it from people who have used it. So I think that for a mild case like mine, it should be really straightforward and easy. So I'm really excited um, to be doing that. So I had that appointment on Friday. My liners should be in in like, I think they said like five to seven weeks. Um, it takes a little bit, but. I've waited a long time, so five weeks is okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, then Saturday we had a wedding. It was such a beautiful wedding. It was all outside, it was on this really pretty lake, and it was like a like a family resort type thing, like, not a hotel, but like a, I don't know, like you stayed in like a house type thing, and then it was on a lake, and then they had like all these different things you could do like swimming, boating, they had um, croquet, they had a croquet field. I have never seen a real croquet field like set up. It was fancy y'all. Then they had like tennis, they had another game that was like tennis, but it was a bigger ball and smaller rackets. And I think the net was lower. I don't know. The bartender told me what it was called, but I don't remember what it was called. Um, but they had that, and yeah, the wedding was great. Um, actually, it turns out that the groom went to the same high school I did back in Florida, but he graduated in like 93 or 94 or something like that. That's crazy. So that was pretty cool, and then... Um, so it was actually really far away. It was like two hours away. So we didn't get home till 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> so today has just been, today's Sunday. It has just been like really lazy. Um, just been hanging around the house. We actually went to an outdoor baby shower. Um, and just got home. So now we're playing on the porch. Yay! You're blowing bubbles. Yes, honey. Baby. Baby's inside with Dada. Dad. Okay. Yeah, okay. You gonna give me a hug? Kissy? Can I have a kissy? Mm, my lips. No, don't lick me! No, don't Ah, oh, you got me! <laughs> She's been really into like licking lately. It's really weird. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye! Bye-bye. You can count, can't you? Bye. Two. Two. One, two. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Um. Yeah. One, two. That's really icky. The bubbles don't taste bad? No? Okay. <laughs> um. So, yeah. So we had a fun time at uh, that baby shower. Oh, I didn't say this, my mom is in town. Um, she's gonna be here for a month and the house next door to us is actually an Airbnb. So she rents it out to Airbnb for the month, um, which is really cool. So she's staying next door and so we can like send Magnolia over there if we need just like a little uh, break. Um, Um, so yeah, that's really nice, and, oh, oh, girlfriend, 
Be careful, honey. You almost fell and busted your face. So she's here for the month. I think my stepdad is going to be coming and bringing the boat. So we'll be able to do some lake days, which will be fun. So there's just going to be a lot of fun things coming up. Um, but what else was I going to talk about? Ruby has her four month checkup on Tuesday. So that I will probably do a up, like a four month update video for her. Um, on I'll film it after her appointment. So that will be going up on Wednesday. And she is just getting so big. <laughs> She's so big. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh. Okay. So, Magnolia has definitely hit, like, terrible twos. She's kind of always had, like, a little bit, little bit of trouble. Like, she would um, throw, like, little fits. She has been throwing major fits, and we've just never, like, we discipline her, but I don't know. It's a, it's a touchy subject. It's like everyone has their own opinion, but we, we definitely want to do more of, like, the gentle parenting and, um, that sort of thing. I'm trying to say this without, like, trying to offend anybody because, like I said, everybody has their own opinion and... Yeah, I don't need people like yelling at me in the comments. Um, but there's a book that I'm interested in and I've actually been doing, they have like a little five day like Bible study on it on the YouVersion app, the Bible app. And it's called Triggers and it's about like angry parents, something about angry like going from angry parent to like biblical something I don't remember what the title is I'll leave a link for the book um, but if any of you guys have read that one let me know and then the people who wrote that also wrote um, parenting scripts when what you're saying isn't working something like that um, then if you've read either of those let me know because I've been really interested in those and I just haven't bit the bullet and bought them um, like I said, I'm just doing like the five day little Bible study that they have that kind of goes with, um, the idea of the book. So, or if you have any of, any other of your favorite books that are like gentle parenting, um, biblical parenting, things like that, let me know. If I don't have comments on this video on YouTube, you can always go onto our Instagram or Facebook and leave us a comment there. We are Kaylin and Robert everywhere. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Remember, we don't go over the line. We stay on the driveway. Remember? Or what happens? Do we need to go inside? No. So, um, yeah. Just trying to work through this and try to remember that, you know, she is too, but at the same time, she does need discipline. And just trying to find the right balance. Oh, and some of you guys were asking about um, our yard. And because I mentioned putting flowers up and you were like, well, why not just put a fence up? We cannot have a fence in our front yard per our like uh, covenants of our neighborhood. So yeah, we are not allowed to have up a fence. We are not allowed to have a fence up in our front yard. Um, so that's why we thought about doing the flowers um so yeah that's that I don't know I can't think of anything else I was want to talk to you about this is just a little rambly vlog um but definitely look out on Wednesday I will have a update for on Ruby for you guys and I will go inside and show you to her because I don't know if she was in the last vlog and she's really really cute and you guys need to see her so I will show you some little ruby action. Are you getting that foot, baby? Are you getting it? Get it, girl.